What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all have had a good day. So today we got some next level simping today. Just another example of like why sometimes I'm ashamed to be a man, bro. These people make me ashamed, bro. Honestly, how pathetic they are, how much of a loser they are. It's just crazy how somebody can be this much of a loser, man, you know? So today I saw this tweet on Twitter saying, prosecutors say a 20 year old man from Pennsylvania figured out where a woman he met on the website OnlyFans lived drove to her home and hid in her attic coming down to take videos of her while she slept brah okay so you had me at only fans man okay you had me at only fans when i saw the word only fans i was like yep checks out definitely checks out these people who are willing to pay for fucking porn they can get for free on the internet doing something weird bro doing something crazy doing something pathetic wow i'm so surprised really bro they did that bro when i think of people who subscribe to only fans i think of very respectable very professional types of people so when i see stories like this bro i'm shocked to my core man truly unexpected so the article goes on and says court documents released last monday also accused 20 year old marikio damian Gur no i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that shit man probably gonna be like lynched for hate speech or something if i even attempt to pronounce that so not even gonna bother bro anyway it says he was stealing some of the woman's underwear and trying to place a tracking device on her car the associated press reports Man, you really gotta admire the dedication this guy has towards doing this, man. I mean, the guy traveled 400 miles, apparently, to this girl's house, had a tracking device, an MF tracking device, all ready to go, and he was hiding in her attic for days, bro. If he even applied, like, 50% of this energy towards not being a loser and having a real GF, this guy would have it made, man. He'd be ultra Chad, having all the girls he wants, but instead he's putting all this effort towards subscribing to OnlyFans, stealing girls' underwear, hiding in their attic, putting tracking device on her car, bro. It's just crazy, man. Summersworth police said that the woman knew who Blank was, and according to the affidavit, she had given him her address after he convinced her that he wanted to buy her a television and a fireplace. She told police that while he came across as a nice person initially, he started acting very pushy and started sleeping outside her home in his vehicle. So it just seems like this woman's really dumb, bro, honestly. Like, like earlier in the article, they were like, the guy somehow found out where she lived. While she literally told him where she lived, bro. Like, why not get a P.O. box so people could send you shit? Why would you give somebody your actual address, man? Kind of the first rule about being an influencer, okay? Influencer 101, don't give fans your fucking address, especially if you're in the porn industry, bro. Seems like really simple stuff there, so I'm not really sure what she was expecting. Some fucking weird dude who buys OnlyFans. Yeah, why not give him my literal fucking address, bro, and see what happens? Like, what, bro? He was even sleeping in his car outside her house, and she wasn't concerned about it the slightest bit? Seems like she's not very smart, bro, honestly. But anyway, it continues saying, police said that they found Damian Blank, who drove nearly 400 miles from his home in Ben Salem, on the roof of the victim's home. Yeah, totally not surprising, by the way. 100% not surprising. I am not shocked at all by this. 100% in line with what you'd expect from somebody who subscribes to OnlyFans. But yeah, guys, with that said, number one rule, don't sub to OnlyFans. You're a loser if you do that. And don't make OnlyFans content, because you're a horror if you do that that. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, please slap a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on, and maybe leave a super thanks down below if you're feeling extra generous today. And, yeah, see you guys later. Bye.